All right, guys, we're back. Fourth annual symposium, and uh, I just want to show some of you that can't be here some of the cool stuff that's out here. We have sponsors that have come and helped give back to education, give back to the trade, brought out some of their stuff uh, that are making our jobs easier, helping us get work done. Chris, why don't you uh, introduce yourself and just tell us what you got here. Hey everybody, I'm Chris Eads uh, with Easy Solution Technologies. We've developed a, a T and a fitting system to uh, maintain your condensate drains. Um, this has been out for a little while. We were here last year, we did a video, but uh, over the summer, we were running into problems in my HVAC company with running out of nitrogen. My guys are using nitrogen to clean out drains. There's a nitrogen shortage, so we got into the shop vac method and dissected the system a little bit and found a better way to use a shop vac. Um, the problem is on our trucks with a shop vac, you have a shop vac, and most every service truck has a five gallon bucket. But the shop vac, when you go from dry vac to wet vac, it's a problem because you got to remove the filter. And if you don't remove the filter, you get a wet filter, the filter falls apart and it's a compounding problem. It's time to send the clean out of vacuum. So also I came up with the bucket because of the volume. When you have a small shop vac, your vacuum's going to fill up. You're up in an attic on the second floor. You get about a gallon in and you got to come back down and save your vacuum you gotta come, water. Yeah, it, you you got to come down, <laughs> empty it, restart yeah. it. Well, the bucket allows you to have volume so you can just go upstairs and get all the, you know, it turns your drain line into a central vac system pretty much. Um, and the side effect, which I didn't even realize, but the vacuum stays dry so that you're not going to have a problem with a wet vacuum anymore because everything stays in the bucket. The bucket's, bucket's easy to clean. Um, this is a dust collecting stuff. It's all available online. These buckets will collapse on you. We put a metal ring in there to help it. That's a 90 mil bucket. The standard Home De Depot bucket's 70 mils and it'll, it'll collapse on you if, you if you put the suction on it. This fine vacuum is the king of vacuums. It pulls about 90 inches of water. Uh, the cordless Milwaukee pulls in the 70s. It's very good too. Uh, I have a little fuel that pulls pretty good. I do like the cordless for the aspect of the durability, but the small fuel 12 volt vacuum is ideal for the van, it doesn't have much room on yeah, it. Yeah, it's only about this big, yeah. and uh, actually has a stronger pull than a lot of vacuums out there, so. For years, yeah. this is what we used. This is the Stinger, it's 39 bucks, used to be 29. Uh, if you, you know, it's very, but it it doesn't do a good job. It doesn't it have, doesn't have pull, the yeah. volume to do it. So yeah. we're gonna turn this vacuum on okay. and show you what this thing can do. This has a hole in it, so when we insert that, it's just going to pull it from the one way. See? So now we're we're getting suction here. This should be hot, soapy water. Go in the customer's kitchen or tub and get as hot as water as you can get. It helps if it's hot water. Put a couple drops of soap in it, and then insert it in here. And you can see the cleaning effect you're getting. It helps to pulse it in and out. And another added benefit, if you're in the attic and your drain pan's full of water, you can take a small vacuum hose. This one that comes with the stinger will work, but this is nice and convenient and short. It's in my hand. <laughs> Pay attention to this. When you're cleaning out the secondary drain, Look at this fitting. The fitting right here seals back to the air handler. So all of your suction is coming from your vacuum that's hooked up outside. And you're just cleaning out the drain pan. You don't have to come and go. You don't have to carry anything from inside to outside. Simple as that. And you know, if you got a couple gallons of water in here, that's just more 
cleaning of your drain you're going to get go. for pretty much free. You're not taking anything in the attic with you but this to do it all. And you can clean inside of your drain pan. Yep, you can clean out true. trash. You can vacuum yep. out different stuff. You just got to be careful not to suck anything into your drain line. We have a screen, a faucet screen that goes in here that will help or you should have some type of screen to avoid sucking trash into your drain because you don't want to clog it. So this is the vacuum that was being used. You can see it has a vacuum bag and it's completely dry. So you can go clean the customer's grills, you can vacuum your plenum and all that stuff with a dry vac, and you're not cleaning it all out again. You just have the bucket. You can see the bucket, all the water ended up there. Easy to clean. You could take this hose and stick it in there with a little bleach and sanitize it so you're not having to uh, not growing anything. Not growing anything over the weekend. We've <laughs> yeah. all done it. You yep. get a vacuum and it gets wet and over the weekend and then come uh, come Monday you got a science project. Yep. So all of us all of us guys have this these fittings on our van. Uh, we started getting them and trying them out. But you can see how that will come in and actually seal on the back side so you can focus your your uh, your suction it, or if your T is the other other way you can see here Ellie has this this attachment in here is seal into the side walls right here so going in past the T so if your T is that shape and it's not pulling anything no air from here as he has it hooked up to the vacuum so he's got a couple feedings that slip down into the T's and actually help you uh, when you're cleaning that out and sucking from whichever direction you actually want to so pretty 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 helpful stuff what else you got over here? And if you have to, uh, if you do have to use nitrogen or CO2, this fits the typical quarter inch male fitting and you can hook your line up to it and use, uh, use it to blow it out. Um, awesome. And in Florida, we do a lot of stuff that's underground in chases that's in the garage. You can use a hose and just stick it in here and, hose, and, and hit it with a hose as well. But just when you get the situation here, Air handlers upstairs, it's white carpet, you don't want to drag a hose to a customer's house. So that's where the vacuum comes in the really comes into play. Awesome. And then the Assurity line, this Flow Plus, I really like. Um, it has a it's a waxy tab. Okay. And, and they last. A waxy There's tab. A, that uh a lot of tablets fall apart pretty quick. In yeah. Hours. In know, hours. And this yeah. stays in there for a while. And okay. You know, you got to treat your drains. The new installs, we'll put some drain treatment in there. Yeah. Um, I like these as well. Those last forever. You can lay one of those right in the mm -hmm. front drain pan. Nice. Cool. All right. Thank well, you, Bert. Yeah, thanks for showing up and helping us put on what we do and, and uh, actually making our jobs easier. Really All appreciate right. it. You're welcome. Thanks for watching our video. If you enjoyed it and got something out of it, if you wouldn't mind hitting the thumbs up button to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and click the notifications bell to be notified when new videos come out. HVAC School is far more than a YouTube channel. You can find out more by going to HVACRschool.com, which is our website and hub for all of our content, including tech tips, videos, podcasts, and so much more. You can also subscribe to the podcast on any podcast app of your choosing. You can also join our Facebook group if you want to weigh in on the conversation yourself. Thanks again for watching.